What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this month. Yes, sir. All right, so, man, we got Cardi B. He says she's officially filed for a divorce and comes for an offset again. He said offset is going broke, bro, which I don't believe that. <laughs> I swear I don't believe this one now. You guys, though, y'all got, I got to tell the truth. I, I don't believe this one, bro. But I'm still going to check out the spice. I just don't believe it, you know. But we go check it out. Maybe I'm wrong. Spicy. Oh, Carly B drained Offset's bank accounts, removed all her money, left him with scraps. The Carly B and Offset drama is heating up, and it's about to get real ugly. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, you nigga, because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years you that I'm y'all so it looks like cardi b is determined to humiliate offset because she is making some smart money moves that are gonna make offset allegedly broke as f offset has been making cardi look like a clown in these streets for the last couple of days but the last straw was when he went public with his new boo jay now cardi is done dealing with his bs so she not only filed for divorce but she is also coming for every last dollar that offset has and she is not here to play um has cardi really been secretly banned Bankrolling offset this whole time? Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face in your fucking face over and over and over and over and over again. Y'all offset is quickly learning that Cardi B is not the person to play with because she is determined to get her lick back at him after he has been playing in her face and trying to humiliate her after their separation. Now before y'all come at me and start talking about how Cardi B and offset are both known for playing games and making things up just to cause drama on social media you know for clicks and giggles but i don't think that's the case here because we're seeing a complete meltdown of their marriage and it looks like things are about to get worse from here on now i'm not gonna lie cardi b and offset have had more than their fair share of issues in their relationship because they have been off and on for the majority of their marriage and according to reports half of the reason their breakups is that offset keeps slinging that thing all across town if you know what i mean now cardi has always defended offset whenever he was caught cheating like when she said this it's like everybody is coming down my neck like why are you not leaving him i'm rich and i know i'm talented i know i could get any man i want but i want to work out my issues with my man and i don't got to explain why this is my life i'm going to take my time and i'm going to decide my decision it's not right what he did but people don't know what i did because i ain't no angel and well if people are talking about it and keep asking me how i feel about the situation why not let them know right or wrong no it's not right for a man to cheat but what do you want me to do go sleep with another man start all over again and get cheated on again this stuff happens to everyone yes. and it could be you too people handle their relationship different so so I mean, we knowing and not knowing is two different things carter come on now really really i think i me personally i think the celebrities bro when you get to a certain level like i don't know i think you should talk to like a i think you should be in a relationship with somebody who's not a celebrity you know like that's why I, I think, bro, because if you be with and, and y'all don't got that much money, and it's too it's too much, the paparazzi and everything are already gonna be on one of y'all, but two of y'all, y'all will never have no privacy. And you don't never know what to believe. People gonna make up stories all the time. It could be, I mean, some stories are true. I get that, but at the same token, you don't know what's true. Because this would be like a lot of work involved and a lot of time spent away from each other. You know, for real. So that's crazy. That's crazy. But they been see. Cardi, y'all been going through this, is my girl. You should have been known that nigga can't keep his. <laughs> you should have known this about this dick. We all kind of thought that she was fine with getting cheated on because not everybody sees cheating as a deal breaker. But as it turns out, she has always felt a way about Offset cheating. And that's why she tried to hide her marriage from the world. She low key knew that Offset was going to end up embarrassing her all over again, oh, so she tried yeah. to fake it. But then TMZ leaked her wedding certificate, and Cardi got so mad that she went on a rant saying, There are so many moments that I share with the world, and then there are moments that I want to keep for myself. Getting married was one of those moments. Our 
relationship was so new, breaking up and making up, and we had a lot of growing up to do, but we were so in love and we didn't want to lose each other. It was one morning in September we woke up and decided to get married. We found someone to marry us, and she did, just the two of us and my cousin, and I said I do, and no dress, no makeup, and no ring. Honestly, in the years since they got married wow. though, it's not hard to see why she wanted to keep it a secret, cause Offset has made it his life's mission to embarrass her as much as he possibly can. Y'all, it got so bad that the internet literally renamed him as Off Cheat and Offset because he's out here being a cheater in an op to Cardi. He just can't seem to keep it in his pants and he has Cardi looking real bad out here, which is exactly what she always had been scared of from the start. When she was pregnant with their daughter Culture, Offset was exposed for trying to arrange a threesome with rapper Cuban Doll and her friend. He said, I want you and Cuban. Can you make that happen? I go to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll fly y'all. I'll fly her there, say, on Saturday. Now, Cardi had enough in December 2018, and she filed for divorce, and she made the announcement on Instagram. I haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. Well, then, the next thing we knew, Offset's side piece came out to reveal that she had been having an affair with Offset, and that's why Cardi was leaving. She went on and on about how she was sorry and blah, blah, blah. I have not messed with Offset since he's had his baby. Um, it's some spike. Not this right here. I spice. didn't know how serious this marriage was. What? Um, you know, I kind of read, I kind of see things, but um, I haven't like. I, okay. It took until today to actually like get into this, um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, "Yo, like, hey bro, this is what I'm gonna say right here." You know how, like they said about the violence, put the guns down and pick the gloves up? I'm going to say that, like, for the women. Put the bird down and pick the gloves up, bro. <laughs> bro, pick the gloves up, put the bird down. <laughs> um, I took Cardi B's or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel... Um, ashamed. Oh. As you should. Yo, this has to be the wildest excuse ever. Should. Because what on earth did she mean that she didn't know that their marriage was serious? A marriage that had a daughter involved? Girl, be for real. The three of foes be wildin'. Now, at first, Offset tried to act nonchalant, but he eventually caved and begged Cardi to come back to him. I got one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi. You know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things in the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know, I embarrass you. I made you look crazy, doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart. But when that didn't work, he decided to go over and beyond. So he interrupted her whole Rolling Loud performance to beg her to come take him back in front of more than 60,000 people. <laughs> But this was just insane and highly manipulative of him because he basically forced Cardi's hand into taking him back. There's also the fact that Offset's family don't even seem to respect Cardi as Offset's partner because when Cardi filed for divorce, Offset's father had the audacity to put Cardi B on blast and he called her out for being a bad wife. Offset's dad expected Cardi B to be a good little wife and let Offset cheat in peace without making no kind of fuss. He wrote, social media is a powerful tool, but certainly no place for family situations. However, our that. youth, specifically my son's wife, doesn't understand that. She seems to want to take everything to social media without regard to the devastation it has on others, past, present, and future, or specifically what it does to the other children. My son is not innocent, so he has done his share of dirt. But the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session. He continued, It's tick for tack, mudslinging, situation fueled by jealousy, envy, insecurity, psychological issues, drugs, etc. Like most young adults, he doesn't always do what he's advised to do. But we are talking about a 25-year-old with an unlimited supply of money, women chasing him, people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a hot-headed female who thrives off of social media attention and is on the same financial level as it or above him, and it's a recipe for disaster. Yo, yeah, it's the old-school disrespect. I just, from that. I just said that earlier. I said I think the celebrities should be with the average Joes. I mean, not average, but... Not so high up, you know, because the balance will come in somewhere. But the right person, of course, but 
for me but honestly it goes to show how offset talks about cardi to his family because there is no reason that his father would feel so comfortable disrespecting cardi on social media especially since offset was the guilty one but cardi chose to overlook the disrespect and she took offset back unfortunately he didn't stop disrespecting her and he continued to cheat on her without remorse and it got so bad that he got her clowned by one of her biggest ops tasha k now tasha has a long history of bad blood with cardi b so she was only too happy to put publicly clown Cardi and announced to the world that Offset was cheating on her. Tosh revealed that Offset had been bringing his side piece to his home and she wrote, according to her, she has known Offset since 2013 up until last year and this is at her home in Violent in Hollywood. She says that's her daughter's bed she is sitting on in the camera. <laughs> Now Offset tried to come out and tell us that Cardi B had cheated on him first, so he cheated back to teach her a lesson. He wrote, My wife slept with a man on me. Gang, y'all may know how I come. Again, with the public disrespect. What made this even worse was the fact that Cardi had never publicly accused Offset of cheating on her. Sure, she gets mad and acts out, but she also tries to cover up for him and even makes excuses for him. So him accusing her of cheating on him without proof was just some really nasty word. But it's nothing compared to what he's doing now because this man just came out to admit that he is in fact in a relationship with Jade and this has to be the nastiest thing he's done thus far. So for those of you who don't know who Jade is, you're definitely not alone. But I gotta tell y'all why it's such a big deal that Offset is dating her. You see Jade is the bartender who Cardi got beaten up a couple of years ago because she was having an affair with Offset. So Cardi paid a couple of people to beat Jade and her sister up because she was just so pissed. Now, Cardi caught charges over this and she narrowly escaped some jail time and fines. She had to do some community service though, but she got off light because it could have been way worse. So for Offset to go back to messing with Jade after he and Cardi started having issues is nothing oh. sort of diabolical. That's they right. first sparked dating rumors a few days ago when Jade was suspected to be at Offset's 32nd birthday party. <laughs> Y'all, see this was just plain nasty of Offset and Jay got a lot of smoke from the internet. So she tried to deny that she That's was crazy. with him, saying, I was out eating at a public restaurant. I was not at that weak ass party. Now leave me the F alone. But a lot of people didn't buy this. According to insiders, Offset is really having a little something something with Jay behind the scenes. And Cardi got to know about this, which is why she got so upset and dragged him for filth. Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face and your fucking face over and over and over and over and over again and she'll be like watch watch what i'm about to do watch what i'm about to say and it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to yo really like to play games with me when i'm at my most vulnerable time when i when i'm not the most confident and i've really been sparing you i've really been sparing you you've been feeling yourself nigga because of your album and, and you've really been doing me dirty after so fucking years that I'm up yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't say me seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so fucking tired of this. Hey. Y'all know how I said that Offset's family don't respect Cardi all that much? Well, Offset's sister, Hefe, came out to publicly defend him for cheating, and she put Cardi on blast. She retweeted this post and then said, Women really be wanting you to be rich and not cheat. The <laughs> Just irrational. And she commented, They really are just a man. She also said, Y'all do know, can no one make you happy but you, right? Then there was this tweet that said, Cardi is a perfect example of a woman doing everything a man and desires and still be mistreated. She works as sexually open as he desires, helps with his outside children. Well, Offset's sister replied and said, always remember that people tweeting stuff like this, and I cannot stress this enough, do not know these people. She then said, child, she says she was single. How she hurt all of a sudden? She also asked That's people to I stop talking about. about her brother in a bad way, saying, y'all gonna stop narrating my brother out to be a bad guy. My boy can't ever enjoy his birthday or Christmas. 
this. Like, y'all, the disrespect just keeps coming and rolling in and getting worse and worse. And it looks like Cardi has finally had enough of this. So she is finally making some moves to leave him for good. She's determined to make her absence felt. So she decided to make Offset broke. But listen, Offset and Cardi are a very rich couple. But to nobody's surprise, Cardi is way richer than he is. She is one of the hottest rappers in the game right now. And even though Offset is doing pretty well for himself, he can't measure up to her. He hasn't really been all that hot since the Migos broke up. And nobody's really checking for him all that much. Now again, I'm not saying that he's a broke boy yet or irrelevant or anything, but he and Cardi are on different wavelengths right now because he's just not making as much money as he used to. Well, Cardi is not about to let Offset get away with this behavior while spending her money. Well, she cleared out their money from their bank accounts. Well, actually her money since she earned it all. And according to an insider, Cardi made most of the money for the family. She's all about saving and investing. Offset is about spending wildly. So while they both made a lot of money during the marriage, most of the money they have now is Cardi's. And by most, I mean like 95% of it. And it's not just money that Cardi has, it's real estate. They own a home in Atlanta where Cardi and the children stay, and they have a home in New Jersey where Cardi's mother stays. She's getting both of those homes. Without Cardi's money, Offset is nowhere near as wealthy as he portrays. That man spends money like water, and he's not even hot like that no more. Watch what his life ends up looking like without Cardi. Well, it looks like Offset is about to be a broke boy. And I think that it's going to be interesting to see whether Jade sticks beside him when he no longer has Cardi's millions to spend. Fans been leaving comments saying, he don't want her, he's using her to make his wife mad. Stupid woman let men use them when their wife kicked them to the curb. Cardi wasn't dumb. She needed to go through that in order for her to evolve. I'm sure she has definitely learned from this experience. It's so unfortunate that our loyalty is a downfall. Cardi gonna be all right. Offset is the one that would be going through it. Watch Cardi work. And it never took a scientist to know Offset benefited from the marriage more than Cardi did. She brung the paper in because she's the icon. He was never lit as a bandmate, and he's even worse off as a single artist. Y'all, I don't know. Cardi B did say, be careful with me. But I don't think uh, Offset got the memo. Do y'all think that Cardi B is going to go through the divorce this time? Or do you think that she's going to end up taking him back? Also, do you think that Jade is going to stick with Offset? Now that he's going broke, drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video. Bro, I swear, I think, bro, I'll set my boy. You need to go back and listen to that old school song real fast, real quick. It's cheaper to keep it. Now, he's been going back and forth every time they separate. He's been getting it back. But this time right here, I think that's the scroll that broke the camel back. She, Cardi already paid to have the same girl that you're cheating on her with and and being in public with, allegedly. She paid or she already paid some, some goon girls to go in and rough them up, to rough the girl and her sister up, bro. You're going to go back and rub it right back in her face. Crazy. But Cardi ain't slow. Cardi ain't slow not one bit. Or to say, you know what, I'm tired of your shit. We gonna see what's what and who's who right now. That's what Cardi's saying. So I hope you're ready. Hope you're ready for this ride offset. I promise you, you better think about it twice, my boy.